no Pope in the Bible. Excuse me? There's no Pope in the Bible. I beg your pardon? I don't beg me. Have There's you... no Pope in the Bible. Have you read... Show me where the Pope in the Bible is. He's not. Have you read the Catholic Bible? What Catholic Bible? The only oh, Bible. Oh, don't, oh, don't, oh, don't, oh, don't. You've added books. <laughs> you want... To... We've added books. You've added books. Okay, we should go first to the Pope in the Bible. Who? The Pope in the Bible. Who was? And it says here... Who was? And it says here, St. Peter himself. Oh, was Peter married? Yes, he was. Uh, did Peter, Peter uh, have children? Yes, he did. Sorry, pardon, I beg yes, your pardon. Yes, he did. Tell me more. Yes, he did. Tell me more. Right, where does the first Pope come from? You lot made it up. Tell and me. the bishops, you made the bishops up. Tell me more about Peter having children. Read. Reading the Acts of the Apostles. Read Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. Where did yeah. Jesus go to? Yeah. Just, Jesus uh, went to his mother-in-law because she was sick. Do you know what I mean? This is what they've been telling us for years. Lies. I want to know. I want to know where the kids are mentioned. Because I, I want to be uh, knowledgeable, you know? Yeah. And if there are some kids I should be known about, yeah. Peter had. Yeah. I want to know about it. Yeah. Now here we have in St. Luke's Gospel. Yeah. Chapter 22. Yeah. You know going to come out verse with? 31. When Jesus said, upon this rock I will build my church. Hold on. Jesus said, upon this rock. Not you. This rock. Right? Nobody else, because Peter means pebble. Peter does not mean rock. Jesus is the rock. How can you build a church on a cracked up, messed up bank like Peter? He always put his foot in it. Let me explain. Let me explain. Firstly, Petros does not mean um, pebble. What? Petros, Petros does not mean does pebble. Not mean what? Pebble. What does it mean? It means stone. And, oh, yeah, stone. and if you knew your King James oh, Bible, stone. you'd see that's there. Go. Let's go back to the Greek and Hebrew. Come on, you then. know what you're missing out? What we're missing out, Come Philip? On. I'm going to educate you now. Now, I'm, I'm right. this is listen, this is going I'm back listening. 40 years now. Go on, I'm just okay. going to check something no, no, to make. No, no, no. Get on one moment, one moment, one moment. Oh, it's filming it. Yeah. Because if you're educating what? me, no, I want to be checked. Now, YouTube. <laughs> no, they don't pay me. No, they don't pay me. But this, this today, I hope will be the breakthrough on the money side of things. Go yeah. on, the Greek and Hebrew. Where's Latin? Why did the Pope get rid of Latin? Did he get... Oh, you mean back in the 1960s? Because, because I'll tell you why. No doubt because the Protestants rumbled him. Now you tell us some more. I was at school. The priest gets up. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Said it and rolled it off in Greek. And he says, today, children, is a very famous day. No more Latin. Why? My dad spoke Latin. Yeah. My mom, my aunts, and in, oh, they spoke Latin. If you go to the House of Commons, the House of Lord, there's a plinth, a foot wide, and there's a squiggle all the way round the House of Commons, House of Lords. What is it? It's the Lord's Prayer in Latin. The House used to bring themselves before God Almighty. What do they do now? They don't pray. Why? Stephen, what you've described testifies to the Catholic foundations of this civilization, the Catholic nature of the entire West. Now let's get back to where we were. You've got to teach me some Hebrew and Greek, so I wanted to check I was recording it. Listen, I wasn't going to read that passage. You jumped ahead of the gun. Sorry. Yeah. So sorry. I was on Luke, not Matthew, sorry. partly because I knew what you'd be up to. <laughs> okay, Luke chapter 2. Verse 31, Jesus has risen from the dead. Simon, Simon, behold, Satan demanded to have you that he might sift you like wheat. I pray for you that your faith may not fail. And when you've turned again, strengthen your brethren. And he said to them, Lord, I'm ready to go with you to prison and to death. So it is Peter who's to strengthen the other apostles. 